Well, you know, at about any given time, about 2,500 active duty U.S. Navy SEALs operate on a principle, never quit. Now one man is helping apply that to marriage with a very unique perspective on why he believes that it's never her fault. So joining me now is retired Navy SEAL Derek LaViolette. Um, so I, I couldn't help but ask you questions ahead of time because I'm just really interested. So first of all, you, you, you have a reason that, that you've done all this research and wrote this book. Tell us a little more about that. So uh, basically, this is an apology to my ex-wife and children. Um, I think that this is a, a message that's just going to resonate with, the, uh, with the, a lot of women and men in the audience. And I say that it is the marriage, if the marriage is broken, it is not her fault. And the responsibility to fix a broken marriage lies directly on the shoulders of the man. And there are three huge mistakes a man must avoid if he wants to save the broken marriage. Okay, so tell us what those are, because these are part of your book. Yes. It, okay, so the mistakes they must avoid. And, and, you, and, the, and the way that you, you make this very visual is you equate them to certain people that we're all familiar with. Right. All right. So the first mistake is what I call the Archie Bunker blunder. And this is criticizing her family in any way. A woman's number one priority in her marriage relationship is her emotional security. And when a man criticizes her parents, siblings, or children, mm -hmm. huge threat, huge no-no. The second mistake is what I call the Schindler's List. Now, if you're saving thousands of innocent victims from death in a Holocaust, great time to make a list. Yeah. But if you're in an argument with your wife and you are creating a list of all the great things you do in your marriage, you're telling her that you're not listening to her and that you are not focused on her wishes, needs, or desires. The third mistake is what I call the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> the Incredible Hulk, he transforms from a human being into a monster whenever he gets angry. And when a man gets angry, it threatens the emotional security of his wife. If you find yourself in this situation, you need to use a sealed trick to regain control of your mind. And this is, you can appreciate her beautiful hair, your beautiful home. You, you just find something else to really focus on. You can appreciate the French toast that is sitting in front of you at the Denny's that you're sitting at. Anything to regain control of your mind. In SEAL training, we go through Hell Week, and we stay awake for five days. Yep. And we do this by going from meal to meal. We focus on the next good thing, and that might be the only good thing. If we can stay awake for a week, any man can make it through any little squabble in his marriage. You know what? I think that that is a very good point. Um, for you, I mean, this is, a, you know, a very personal thing, but you're, you're really helping a lot of other people. Tell us about some of the, the progress you've been able to make. Because you say, you know, despite the fact that, I mean, like it says here, I mean, nine combat deployments received the Bronze Star with Valor. You, you say that your most proud work it's not really that. It's helping other people stay married and work it out. Yes, basically, uh, like you just said, like I have the Bronze Star with Valor, but the work that I'm most proud of is helping men and women around the world like, get through rough spots in their marriages. And uh, there's a formula that I use for that, and that's called the SEAL formula, and that's S, make her life into a song. And this is a little bit of a complicated idea, so I've created some free videos on my website. Mm -hmm. It talks about the, uh, the four uh, personalities of women. Mm -hmm. And it talks about how to transform her life into a song. E, endorse her feelings. <laughs> Even if you disagree with her, make her right. <laughs> A, acceptance. Accept the situation. Accept that her feelings. Accept that it's your responsibility to fix a broken marriage. Accept it all if you want to fix a marriage. L, learn her hot buttons. Oh. Learn what makes her mad. Learn what upsets her. Don't do and that. don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, th this is very good advice, Derek. It really is. Well, thank you for coming on and talking to us about it. And, you know, and, and also talking about some of the things that went wrong with you in order to make it right with others. And, it, and we're going to post a link to Derek's website where you can order his book. And we're going to put that on the Morning Show page of news4jacks.com.